and nominee tonight for her work in life support, Queen Latifah. 30 years ago, just one year after our nation's bicentennial, there came a new American revolution, one that was very much televised, Roots, based on Alex Haley's Pulitzer Prize winning best-selling novel about his African ancestors in slavery was broadcast on ABC for eight consecutive and historic nights. The show averaged a 44.9 rating and a 66% audience share. And the finale that aired on January 30th, 1977, became the single most watched TV show in American history. 30 years later, Roots still remains the third most watched show ever, behind only the finale of MASH and the Who Shot JR episode of Dallas. <laughs> Yet ultimately, the impact of Roots, which received nine Emmys and a Peabody, was much more than a mere matter of numbers. Haley's book was subtitled The Saga of an American Family, and this groundbreaking miniseries managed to artfully cross racial lines as the story of African Americans in slavery spoke powerfully to all people of different races and ages. As Alex Haley once put it, when you start about family, about lineage and ancestry, you're talking about every person on earth. Roots ran deep. And all across America and the watching world, the story of Kunta Kinte, a young West African sold into slavery in the 18th century South, broke down barriers of storytelling by firmly establish, establishing the miniseries as a genre. Even more importantly, Roots broke down barriers about whose stories could be told on American television. I'm proud to stand before you to honor a show that brought great honor to the art form that we celebrate tonight. All three. Please welcome from Roots, Cicely Tyson, Leslie Uggams, Edward Asner, John Amos, LeVar Burton, Lou Gossett Jr., and Ben Vereen.